Hello and welcome my friends to Way of Survivor number 10. Yeah, we skipped 9, but don't you worry, 9 will be out someday, sometime soon. But it still needs some time in the oven because it will be a Halloween special. So look forward to that. But as kind of uh, making up for it, we have a very long episode today. Because, yeah, with the nature of this format, um, suggest it's always as long as my journey runs. And this run was very long, as you might have guessed from the title. So I start against Tecto, who I've uh, fought recently too. And he was a beginner play pen player, but has made it out of pens. And right now I'm having a fairly dominant showing, getting those big hits in, making the meta still dropping a little bit. But nothing too supreme, still gets a knockdown and everything. And he actually brought it back with the robbery factor that Susano has too. So, matchup wise, I, I'd say it's even, but it's still not that easy because Susano, of course, runs into your face with very dominant buttons, very plus. He has some downsides, but of course being a little bit slower than other characters is not really much of a downside against Kagura because, yeah, Kagura for the most part is on the slower side as well, but then spots some very, very fast normals for the study. And this still looks even, I get the Fafnir, I get the Yolo Shirish and I have uh, Rapid cancel available, so I could make it safe either way. And so I got the uh, entire confirm, even though it's a blue beat in this time. And uh, this way I just clutch it back. And honestly, there's this very nice um, thing. The round start thing that you can do with Kagura facing the sun off, press 5c to avoid the sun 5b, but yeah, it cost me games before trying this, so I didn't do it this time around. He was trying to bait my burst, but I hold on to it, so. I was able to escape. If I if I did burst there, then he would have blown me up and won this round. But now I ha have overdrive is still available, and this combo kills. So this is why you shouldn't waste your burst early on, because um, you want to have the overdrive extension when you need it, and you also want to um, be able to burst when you really need it, and not only wasting for momentum burst. And so apparently I crushed his uh, his confidence and he switched the character. And of course Hazama is doing way better against uh, Kagura than, than Susano is. Because his range on his chains, on his D moves is extreme. And he can punish a lot of stuff that otherwise wouldn't be punished. I mean he can even punish uh, Wyvern with it. So very tough matchup. You might argue one of, of Kagura's worst, and we are also already seeing a bit why, because Tecto is doing a very good job of just evading me, but of course when he jumps like this in my area, then at some point Fly Sweater is gonna come in clutch. And even as he was completely far away, but he could still punish the Fafnir. This is something that not many characters could do, but Hazama is one of them. Very unfortunate whiff, and this was definitely a burst I agree with, because you want to see this round and don't get hit by myself, but here he didn't uh, take out immediately, so I get a massive blue beat. And again, use my overdrive to seal the deal. This is definitely something that I learned from Ray after we had the talk. The, which is also a video I'm still working on, but yeah, I have about 
four minutes of footage that I need to come up with somehow. Because we have that much to talk in this video but not enough footage. So yeah, I look forward to that. Meanwhile, he anti-airs me and gets the early lead in this round. Actually using his stance to evade my attacks. And essentially one thing that is also very interesting or very favorable for Hazama is that his uh, stance attack, his, uh, his C attack in the stance, the low one, has also armor on it so I can't just mindlessly see stance and see Fafnir because in this case I would clash and he could get a massive punish. Still finding myself a Y one to just finish this round. Not finish but uh, to get him in the corner and be in a very commanding lead. Of course his armor also has big damage but after seeing this round his Susano definitely looked better against me but still very well fought. And if it weren't enough snakes already we are next with the next one to Rumi. A strong yeah, Tarun player. <laughs> Named himself after Tarun probably. And um Yeah. A little bit underestimated, so everyone knows he's good, but for some reason or another he doesn't have that much ego. You might argue that he's the best Tarun in Europe. And right now we are feeling each other out. I have a slight uh, life lead but doesn't mean much, especially as I've already wasted my burst and he has overdrive, and he has active flow, he has overdrive, he has meter and he is the character who builds meter the fastest in the game, his entire drive is, is meant to do this. He doesn't let me escape the corner and see the deal with his distortion drive. He took the first round of course. Fly Sweater gets him. And even at this point you might say this wasn't a good overdrive and uh, still there's not much loss from him there. For overdriving. So rule of thumb is uh, overdrive is better than burst because either way he will get his uh, burst or overdrive back when he needs it and maybe he doesn't need it because he's facing very well with tunes jump D and uh, whatever his and standing D. It's a counter hit uh, super gets another super in the combo and uh, puts me on a pixel. I rapid cancelled it <laughs> and used overdrive to k keep myself somewhat safe after the mist near. And at this point I kinda gave up and thought I would go for the Y ones for the memes. And uh, sadly didn't work out, but if it had then that would have been the clip of the century. Just no brain, Y1 like crazy. Beef of me, my beloved, gets him out, but I didn't get the, uh, the micro dash there, so I couldn't get the full 3k damage. But it's good either way. I sadly missed the combo afterwards, after the throw. I'm really not used to using regular throw most of the time. I use the common grab. So I actually get a perfect, but that doesn't mean that much of course. I still have to play clean and uh, take this next round so I can continue fighting him. So let's see how this goes. So actually in this round I have a commanding lead. He gets uh, blue beads, 
4K and now it doesn't look that commanding anymore, especially as he has active flow, which greatly increases damage out by, I think by 20%. He just doesn't let me escape the corner and this was a very godlike air grab. I mean, it would have been better if he had pushed me into the corner again, but still closes out the round after what looked like it was my round. So this is potential last round of this match, of the set even. So all depends on him. Or me rather. <laughs> he takes the purple throw. So I gave up my my positioning there for a little bit of extra damage. Most of the time not that good, it's more a bit disrespecting. Or gambling. Both in some way or, no or another. And I don't know why he was able to get me there because, yeah. Or rather, I thought he would hit me. So I tried to block. And then one once I realized he wasn't, he didn't hit me, uh, he realized it first and then I got hit by his attacks afterwards. Not really much damage for using uh, super. Of course, uh, bursts out, otherwise I would have taken this match. He gets another throw, whiffs the combo, but gets an overhead and ships me out. Sadness. So this sends me into the loser's bracket, where I will continue my run. And very great performance from uh, from Terumi, he also got very far in the tournament, so check out the official bot to to learn more about this, because I haven't mentioned this. Um, this is a new tournament series, Hollow, Hollow Knight, and it's not all Blaze Blue, but the first iteration was Blaze Blue, so I had to join. It was hosted by Potato and Dr. Izzy. On commentary and Kusanagi boy as a tech guy slash host. And yeah, meanwhile just some casual Kagura slaughtering by Kami. So it would seem he has found his answer in this matchup. And I didn't play a block the Gauntlet Hades and I die for it, or rather I didn't beef off near the Gauntlet Hades because that is the best solution as a Kagura player. Because essentially you um, you crash out a possible mix-up with it, do some stance cancel stuff to keep him on his toes, get a combo, and he gets me with this infernal divider, which uh, of course is the risk of using orb as your Oki tool. at this point that was supposed to be a C Fafnir but of course 5C worked out as well to stop the Gauntlet Hades and he was kinda recognizing that I didn't block Gauntlet Hades so he went ha ham with them this is what happens when you don't B Fafnir your the Gauntlet Hades uh, properly didn't get didn't, I didn't get the, uh, the punish for the air Gauntlet Hades he gets another Gauntlet Hades <laughs> Take a shot for every time I say go to Hades, you won't survive. So please don't. And again, gets me with another go to Hades. I really didn't play it that well. Because um from what I said, I know earlier I said um that the matchup is in Ragnar's favor and it is in terms of neutral and and offense. But I believe overall it's in Kagura's favor because on defense we can shut him down almost completely and he becomes a, a little puppy. But of course we need to do the correct uh, neutral interaction. And here he with his super devoured by darkness and I can just got exit axle to end the round here. So he switched. 
to the other character he plays, Terumi. Last time around he started with Terumi and then switched to Ragnar, so this time it's different. And actually what you're seeing here a lot, I'm trying to implement more overdrive into my gameplay because I have mostly used um, the drive gauge for, for bursts only and that really hurt my game because for one you can get baited and second um, overdrive has a lot of value when you use it correctly and I guess pretty much every character has moves that are uh, vulnerable to overdrive so it's definitely a good tool to have and it's also something universal so if you learn when to overdrive with Kagura then you can also use it for Bang and Ragnar and so on. And you are Kami uh, surviving on a pixel. I think he could have killed me there if he didn't drop the combo so that was definitely lucky from my side. He gets a 5A anti-air which is always a button to press if your character doesn't have a designated anti-air or if your designated anti-air is too slow which is also a reason why we use it to anti-air and here again I tried and I actually got a punish but I'm not sure if this was a punish that was only doable with overdrive and at the very least the thing about overdrive is even if you do get nothing out of it, you at the very least get a little bit of time to think about what to do next and can take better action. You will. So this was pretty bad from him, reversing the switch duration and reversing again. So always back throwing. Wasn't that great in the corner. I don't know why he did it. Maybe uh, Tirumi is weird and has some some has very bad uh, routing when he goes for the normal throw, gets clipped by the Naga and so I advance to the next round and another connection loss, it's, it's funny how this is always uh, Terumi players. And yeah with that I was already in top 8 I believe, I'm not sure, maybe this wasn't top 8 but just outside of top 8. No, this was top 8, yeah. This was top 8 because it was also streamed, so please check the original tournament video if you feel like it. I will still show the entire tournament here because, uh, yeah, just showing my perspective on things and um, it would be kind of weird to tell you to switch mid-video. Uh, mid actually gets, got somewhat of a confirm out of this, which feels nice. And that was actually supposed to be uh, Bifafnir and Bifafnir would have killed and, and Kadam was not. But yeah, and not, I mean Cifafnir and yeah another Cifafnir deals around, uh, closes out the round but this time it was ship damage. And he, my opponent had a, a bad habit of throwing out Hibiki's DP on pretty random timings. I guess he wants to uh, bait a response from me and DPs it. But uh, yeah, not always the best way. And the thing about Hibiki versus Kagura, Hibiki is a very honest character. He has his shadow clones that he can use to either have a projectile or get in himself. And there's nothing really too special, but one thing that TBT players love are their air resets. Because he has an aerial comment grab. And while I'm talking, uh, he took his first round, so whoever takes the next round will take this match. And of course always getting in a uh, first to two scenario, getting the first match is always huge for momentum and stuff. So I was definitely trying trying to get this here. Playing a bit more aggressive, 
not aggressive uh, offensive, I believe. Getting the 2C clip into full combo, love to see it. But I didn't get the pick up, I mistimed the combo. I'm just trying to zone him out with my orbs, and he's trying to get in using his uh, clones. But of course, uh, the strength of zoning out with Kagura using orbs in conjunction with JC is actually pretty difficult to get close to him. For lots of characters who ha actually have to get close. And Hideki is one of them, because uh, his, his daggers do have some range to them, but not that much. And that was not a very good a smart burst, to be honest, because, yeah, he um, he evaded like 2000 damage, or maybe 1500, but that's not that much. It was only like 3k damage in total. That's something you can easily tank, no matter the character, especially that early in the game. And now he didn't have his burst when he needed it, and even going into the second round with only half of his burst. Of course I have also used my burst, so that means he would have it earlier than I do. But of course um, for him the burst is a lot more important. And here he purpose wrote me. I got uh, demolished for that. But still I have about half has, about half uh, overdrive. And this is what I said about the air grab reset that's a lot. Because the common grab you can't even take it. And that's what Wiki players love. This is like one of probably a few um unhonest things and dishonest things about Wiki and of course you gotta love it when you character is something dishonest. And he gets around and honestly when I played this live I felt kinda uh, gimmicked. <laughs> because of the purpose throw and the tech and stuff, so it was like, okay, if he doesn't gimmick me again, I will win this. So I pl still played with confidence, so it wasn't like crushing, oh, he figured me out or something. Which is quite uh, true, and here uh, getting the flash kick, it's always great. Going for warp instead of the cashing out and it actually worked out. At this point I could have even ended the game beforehand, but yeah. Got it with confidence, got the um, Drake common grab and took the round. So this puts me in a team kill position, because if you don't know Orange Cats, Ancestor and I, we usually form a team, the Undercats, in the Blaze Blue EU, EU Open Regrown team tournaments. And we even have a small little graphic for that. And so we are quite accustomed to playing each other because we had some training sessions and stuff. And honestly, first, maybe I'm wrong, but I believe I will win more often against Katz than he wins against me. And I also believe that's because the matchup might not be that tall favorable as some players might think. So, um,. I asked Katz about it and he said that I guess it was Nikkei or was it Thunder that is a very strong uh, Tau player in Europe at, at the very least uh, said it was Tau favor. But I don't really see. Of course he has super tricky movement and can bait stuff and everything. But of course but as he has to get in, he doesn't have the greatest damage. Uh Kavanaugh can still work completely fine. And here I got, just got beaten as, I, <laughs> as I'm trying to make a point that this uh, matchup might be Kagura favor. And this is also why I didn't go bang or anything. Um, because I know that Orange Cuts can take uh, sets from me. But using the slowest overhead in the game is not a very uh, advisable choice when you're facing the character with the fastest DP in the game, or rather the fastest uh, to execute DP, because flash kick is just to flick upwards instead of 6-3. Uh, to three. And both of us don't really get any huge hits in, 
in this case because um, yeah, because sometimes they slide too too much away, and you don't get the bounce from the counter hit, and then you can't do anything from the Wyvern, which is always sad to see. I wanted to be fucking me, but it didn't come out uh, at that point, so I just ate a full combo. Let's see, it's only 2.3k, uh, it's about 3k damage and I have enough health to tank this. Also one thing that uh, Orange Cups, if you're seeing this, um, the thing that I believe lost uh, gave me most momentum were all of those um, corner resets where you overextended and <laughs> yeah I just thought the, thought the distortion drive was over earlier and I got hit for no reason. But still I take the round. I have a I apparently have a tendency to make things close. So I feel like there has been no two O clears for me this entire tournament. But maybe this is just what happens when you mostly play defense rather than offense. Which is also what uh, Kyra excels at in my opponent in my opinion. Because of those flash kicks. Lame opponents out with my orbs. But still, Cuts always finds a way to still get in. Yeah, and here, another overextension that uh, left me out of the corner. And now I could retaliate re really big, I still have my burst, he doesn't have his burst anymore. And then I'm even in active flow. Active flow seems to be running out now, but still. I have a bit more to work with. He still has 50 meters, so yeah. Whoever gets the next hit kills, but a uh, very ignorant fly sweater uh, kills the cat. <laughs> I hope we don't get any claims for animal abuse here, right here now, but uh, yeah, I should be fine. Another thief of me, and if against any Kagura player, this is about if they start. See Fafnir a lot and they, they always get away with it, don't expect them to stop at any point. And here I got a nice See Fafnir in, but still no micro dash. Don't get them that often and there are not that many characters that don't require the micro dash. And this is another reason why See Fafnir is so good, because I completely whiffed it and I was still mostly safe. You have to be extra ready to punish it, so kind of difficult. Yeah, I took lots of damage because of the blue beat, but still he overextended and put me in a better position and then he put the, used the worst position to burst there and it was essentially checkmate. So this already put me in the top four, so I'm already first place and now we are playing for third place and essentially and uh, facing Terumi again. But uh, yeah, I'd really love that run back. A German mayonnaise. Uh, I believe the second strongest Ragnar player in Europe. So this won't be easy. And you can see how he demolishes me here. I tried to run out, roll out, but he has a good setup that catches every kind of wake up I believe because Ragnar's JC is just as ignorant as uh, Kagura's JC which is also what I love about him when I play it and here we have another good example of why Overdrive is so strong because you can just invalidate lots of stuff and for uh, when you face Kagura this is definitely all of his D buttons and to some extent his C buttons as well like full screen, so well, very well spaced C buttons are not that much acceptable to overdrive unless you have a character with very good range like Ragnar, but close range obviously they are also very risky. But at this point of course he doesn't have, have overdrive anymore so I can 
be very ignorant with uh, swinging my C buttons. And he's doing good damage, but also more importantly, he's building up his health again. And he got his overdrive back. Caught me with his 5A into a blue beat combo. Gets even more of his health back. And even uses Devoured by Darkness to get even more. Now he has the life lead, except even though he once was lower health than I am right now. So I had to burst there, nothing else I could do, and luckily didn't get baited. Getting a Seafuff near. Of course, as long as this is connects, I have 100 meter, it's safe. And I end the round with the, uh, with the Y1. So again, very close. Each person, uh, each player has one, one round one so far, and he intercepts my Naga with his, uh, his Jesus kick, 5B. So another thing that uh, tells you how risky drives are with Kagura, even though Naga is the quote-unquote safe pressure ender, like it's safe after it was it, it hit, but it's not safe uh, when it. Um, when it's coming out. And here he got a smaller punish with Overdrive as he uh, went through my 6B. And got another Devoured by Darkness to heal up. And here I was actually thinking that he would uh, block it. So I used the Rapid Cancel immediately. He baited my burst and trying to disrespect me at this point with 5A, it was ending the co uh, combo with 5As but yeah, it, bore, it definitely bit him because it got closer right now and now I have one of the best limp wounds ever in my career again, nothing else could have punished there I believe maybe c me too, but I'm not sure to be honest so yeah, Linfo was just the uh, ideal choice. And it also put me up one uh, one match against German Mayonnaise. Who's, by the way, I told you before, who's not German. <laughs> you can check out the original stream to find out from where he comes. Just giving some incentives to actually watch tournament wards from Europe. Because those are cool too. I miss the uh, up near there. Actually hurting me a lot because I I gave up the corner, I gave up good damage, and now he puts me in the corner. Almost gets the purple throw. And but I misjudged the spacing and go uh, went for uh, Naga there, and it cost me the round, otherwise I might have taken it, which is very sad to be honest. But of course I'm still, uh, I've got a match lead, so I was still ta wasn't taking it too badly here. And we see a, a huge difference in playstyle because Mayonnaise of course being a very strong uh, yeah, he doesn't try to cheese me with Gauntlet Hades as much as Khan uh, tried to. And it's working out for the most part. Even though I was not even punishing those in the Kami matchup. But he just has very solid pressure here. And of course I had to burst because otherwise I would have died. Still got the uh, beef up here but dropped the confirm and didn't get anything of it, so he just took the round and the, ma the second match, so whoever wins this will fight Terumi and uh, whoever loses this, of course, is out of the tournament in fourth place. In the moment it looks very good for him, he even got a hit after I overdrived, so 
At this point it was completely wasted. But of course with low health overdrive is uh, coming back a lot faster. So unless he kills me here, which he may very well might. Um, no he didn't because he didn't get the kind of scissor in the end. But still and almost perfect because he healed up. But nothing not everything is built because he he used his overdrive and I got mine back just right now. So I at the very least win the resource war here. And here I actually got a good um, overdrive read but I missed throughout the combo because that wouldn't do it didn't do anything of course since he was in the air. Yeah, I only blocked the Gauntlet Hades, but at the very least I didn't get hit by it. And he didn't tag early enough, so my Tusi gets him. And I get the purple throw. But I'm, I haven't uh, left it out enough, the purple throw, to uh, see what I can do afterwards, so 2DA is not the answer. And this actually should be it. Except, except I'm still alive and I'm not sure if he wanted to cross me up to disrespect me or if he didn't want to you know, combo. So I'm living on another pixel here. I dropped the combo because otherwise I could have killed. But of course I would have had to spend the, the overdrive I believe. But I still get him with the JC. On a pixel. Last match, last round situation again. <laughs> okay, I have a tendency to make things close. They're not doing this on purpose, I swear. I get a good hit in, but he is trying to run me down. But Death Side is not gonna work against Kagura because that is a lot easier to enter air than Gauntlet Hades. And you can, of course, use either B or C Fafnir. B Fafnir would have been better, but yeah. He's trying to bait me with his movement into some dumb option that he can punish. We thought he could punish here, but actually I recovered fast and could uh, B Fafnir him here at the commanding life lead. And I got baited my C Fafnir. And the moment I pressed it, I knew it, it was bad. I was like, yeah, he just... Uh, he just did it to me, I want to do it to him. But nah, not working. And so I gambled everything away with the Fafnir, like a true Kagura player. And this ends my tournament at Hollow Knight number one. Hope you guys ha had fun watching. Please like and subscribe and also check out the original tournament. Make sure to enter all of Europe's tournaments including Salty EU on, on Tuesdays, uh, Blaze Blue Weekly on Wednesdays and e Blaze Blue EU Open Regrown on Saturdays. Let's see each other in tournament. Until then, bye bye!